The spikes on the adenovirus capsid are useful in attaching to the host cell. They attach to fiber receptor molecules and co-receptors on clathrin-coated pits and are then taken into the cell as an endosome. The acidification of the endosome leads to the receptor proteins breaking down and the capsid beginning to break down. The diamine on the adenovirus then attaches to a microtubule and the virion travels to the nucleus. Upon reaching the nucleus, the capsid binds to the nuclear pore and to kinesin, which pull in opposite directions and rip the capsid apart. Transportin attaches to the genome and pulls it into the nucleus to be replicated. The DNA of adenovirus is replicated through strand displacement. There is a terminal protein attached on the 5' prime ends and a pre-terminal protein attached to the polymerase that is used as a primer. This eliminates the need for nucleic acid primer and prevents shortening of ends. As the first strand is being replicated, the second strand is displaced and DNA binding protein binds to the second strand, shown here in green. Once replication is complete, we now have a new double-stranded DNA and the ends of the displaced strand have snapped back together. The polymerase with the preterminal protein bind to this strand and begin the process all over again, removing the DNA binding protein as it goes. A second double-stranded DNA is now produced and this process can begin all over again to replicate more genomes.